Hi okay, guys, so and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the managers. We're going to be talking about more so in a conflict setting. Uh, Game Master or Editor has exact same setup as conflict. Just a few things change around. And I'll go ahead and explain that to you for those who want to set up like, you know, GM or Zeus missions. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and start typing away all this very simple stuff. First thing first is we need to find the faction manager. Now you want to make sure if you're doing conflict, you're doing campaign. So anything if conflict related is going to be named campaign. So we're going to go ahead and put down a faction manager and what the faction manager is, is talking about the sides of blue four, op four, or in this case for simple minds, USA versus um, Russia and stuff like that. So you're able to kind of go through, if we look over here, you can change a lot of details. You can go ahead and change what the radio encryption key is. You can change the faction label and stuff. I wouldn't recommend changing this unless you really know what you're doing. For instance, if you know how to work with RHS and making something, you can go ahead and do that but it's all pretty simple. Um, I, I'm not gonna make a video talking about all that unless it's really desired on how to like work a, uh, to put like RHS units and the RHS faction into a faction setting. Um, but yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below if that's something you guys would like to see. But anyways, there's a lot of details you can do to characters, you can add vehicles, groups, weapon tripods, a lot of stuff. So you can go ahead and add things or remove things however you see fit. All right, next things first is we're gonna do the loadout manager. Now loadout manager is basically telling the game mode how people can spawn so we're just going to put down campaign loan manager and that's it but as you can see there's a lot more in here for instance character based loadout for people if you're doing gm and whatnot all right mp chat basically that allows people to actually type in side chat or directional you guys know how that works we're going to go ahead and put down the task manager for campaign as well this basically tells uh the game um what objectives can be taken and how that all works very simple Gonna want to put down a perception manager basically says hey the ai can actually see what's going on and stuff basically it gives eyeballs to ai that's the simple way to do it radio manager this allows people to actually talk in the radios with each other and then finally don't forget your game mode campaign if you're doing conflict you want to do game mode editor if you're doing a gm so we're going to plop that down here uh one thing i almost forgot is you're going to want to put down an ser ai world now, what this simply is, is it's a nav mesh. Nav mesh tells AI where they can move, where they can go, how they can spawn in the world. Basically, it tells AI elevation, XYZ, all that fun stuff. So, for example, I'm just going to put down the base one. Don't worry, this always happens. You're always going to get an error when you put the base one down. On the right-hand side, we're going to go to nav mesh world component. We're going to go ahead and hit set class. Now, since we're on Evron, we're going to pull Evron's world. So if we go down to MP, nav meshes, we're going to go down here and try to find it. Now we just need to remember that Eden is also Evron. That's the only thing. So you're going to hit here. So that's going to tell the soldiers where to move. The one in the top. The one in the middle is for vehicles. So we're going to go down here and get the same thing. As we can see, we got Eden vehicles. And then the last nav mesh world component, this one is for the low res. Don't ask me what low res is. I honestly don't fully understand what low res is or the full definition behind it, but you need it. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab this here. Low res Eden. And there we go. So this is all your basic managers. Now, of course, if you're doing something um, more specific, you're going to want to start putting in other kind of managers and stuff like there, there down as well. This is just the base core managers you're going to be working with. All right. So now that you got all these managers, you should be able to start working on your project. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you learned something today, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And if there's something that you'd like to see as a tutorial, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch. I sometimes do dev streams from time to time, so you might be able to learn something from there. Anyways, take it easy. Bye-bye.